Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraAdimation.com and welcome to the first video of our year 2024. Before we dive into the exciting content, I want to wish each and every one of you a fantastic new year filled with joy and happiness. And now without further ado, let's talk about the top 5 testing trends of 2024. The first trend that we are going to be talking about is going to be automation testing with generative AI's functionality. Over the past couple of years, generative AI has stormed into the scene, making its presence felt in our computer operating systems, browsers, and even our smartphone. This transformative technology isn't just widespread, it is becoming personalized with custom models offered by many providers such as Azure, AWS, and Google. By offering organizations the ability to create and train their own models, ensuring more private and tailored testing environments. Now, here is where things get more exciting. Generative AI is seamlessly integrated into powerful testing tools like Catalan Studio and Mulia Bugsura, TestGrid, Testim and Mabel. So these automation testing tool already has the ability to perform the generative AI feature into it. And these tools are like the superheroes, which makes testing not just efficient, but also downright intelligent. So this is one of the most important and exciting things which is happening at the moment with the generative AIs embedded into these automation testing tools. They also can take care of mundane jobs like auto healing, smart locator identification, visual matching, and realistic test data generation. And because of all these features that we always try to struggle with them, now these are going to be taken care of by these tools automatically to make our testing life much, much easier. But not that's all that we have with this generative AI. We also have tools designed for coding automation testing scripts, tools like GitHub Copilot, Tab9, Google Duet AI, or Amazon Code Whisperers as your coding companion. So these are not just tools, they are like the buddies or the partners with the true potential of artificial intelligence in crafting the test automation scenarios. So using these tools, we can really, really ensure that our automation test scripts are written much faster, delivering high quality product each and every release that we do with our product releases. So using these tools, we are gonna be increasing the efficiency of delivery of software test automation suites much, much faster. And that is gonna be the trend of the year 2024, as I think that we are gonna be seeing in this whole year. And this trend is gonna keep continuing for next couple of years. The next trend that we are gonna be talking about is the low code and no code tools. Low code and no code tools represents a paradigm shift in application development. Using this process, anyone with the ability of basic understanding of computers can participate in creating software solutions. So these innovative platforms streamlines the developmental lifecycle, allowing users to build robust application without extensive code. So of the tools are like the Appian's, out systems and Microsoft Power Apps or the applications which are going to be helping us to perform these operations. If you have heard about Appian, it's an enterprise grade platform integrating data process and user interface with a focus on low code automation. And the same thing happens for the Microsoft Power Apps because it is a part of Power Platform and it simplifies the application development, allowing users to create custom apps seamlessly integrated with Microsoft services. And as you can see in the Gartner prediction over here, this is the place where you can see this all these no code, low code tools are going to be sitting. And these are the leaders where you can see all these tools are sitting in. And I think this is quite exciting time for us to use the low code and no code automation tools to perform the operation. And the same applies to the testing of software as well with no code tools, such as Catalan Studio also offers their own low code or no code testing tool from the beginning and they have improved even further with the fusion of AI. And similarly, there is another tool called as reflect.run. It's an AI power tool. And we also talked about this AI power tool like zero step, which has got the natural language interface to communicate with playwright and perform the operation on the UI. And that is actually powered by the reflect.run company and they are AI powered and it's like a no code or low code tool. So they can directly use without writing much of automation testing script on them. Similarly, there are tools like Apply Tools, Test Rigger, Functionalize, and these low code, no code tools really perform all these operations in much, much easier fashion to enhancing the ability of writing the test script much, much easier fashion. So this is gonna be the second most important trend that is gonna continue in this year 2024 and it's gonna keep growing for the next couple of years because that is how the market is now stabilizing or focusing more towards while bringing 
all the different expertise to participate in software development. The third trend that we are going to be talking about is going to be the API and the microservice testing. As you can see, the API and microservice testing is a crucial part of the software testing that's gaining significant traction because all the microservices and API testing involves cutting edge development practices. We're talking about things like event driven microservices, decentralized data management, containerization, infrastructure as a code, monitoring and observability. Now testing these isn't just having skills with testing tools or programming knowledge. It requires deep understanding of the application domains, understanding the integrity of the application code, grasping how the system collaborates. Because as you can see, all these microservices that we have got has got so many different systems in place and they all communicate with many different systems. So microservices in particular bring plethora of functionalities into mix and for testers, it's essential to ride the wave of latest testing methodologies, especially when dealing with intrinsic system like this. So our goal is to ensure that the system is not only thoroughly tested, but also functions seamlessly according to the business requirement. The next trend that we are going to be talking about is going to be the DevSecOps. The DevSecOps is a crucial for identifying and addressing security vulnerability early in the development process. The key roles are shift left security, automated security testing, security code review, running security vulnerability analysis and pipeline and more. There are so many different things that we can do actually in DevSecOps, but the one that we are going to be focusing on are these four. So as you can see, the shift left security is one of the most important key aspect for the DevSecOps. The security by design principle is also one of the key principle of the shift left security, which is a proactive approach to integrating security measures into the entire process of designing and building the systems, application or products instead of adding security as an afterthought. It advocates for considering security requirement and features from the initial stage of development. And this approach aims to identify and address potential security vulnerability early in the development life cycle. So that is the real power of the shift left security. And it is really, really important as covered in the OZAP, as you can see over here. The next approach is going to be the automated security testing. And this is done by many different tools like Zap Proxy or Burp Suite, etc., which is really, really powerful to perform the automated security testing. But these tools not only performs the automated fashions of the security testing, but they also increase their widespread attack to uncover some of the potential risk that we have within our system. And that is the real power of the automated security testing tool like these. And also running security vulnerabilities, one of the most important concept of the DevSecOps because running the code analysis using tools like the GitHub action code analysis can really help you analyze on scan the whole code that you have within a repo and uncover some of the potential issues that is available within the code. And also if you're using some of the Docker containers or containerization in the microservices platform, those can also be uncovered using these code scanning, which is provided by GitHub actions. So these are some of the things that is going to be happening in the year 2024 with the DevSecOps. And as we have touched the DevSecOps and security of application, it is crucial to perform security testing of our application. Hence, our next trend is going to be pretty much aligned with the DevSecOps, which is going to be security testing. So security testing is also a crucial aspect of the software development lifecycle that focuses on identifying and addressing vulnerability and weakness in an application security posture. And the goal of security testing is to ensure that the software systems is resilient to attack, protect sensitive data and adheres to the security best practices. And some of the information about security testings and the vulnerabilities are covered in the WOSAP top 10, which shows some of the top 10 vulnerabilities which can be used by developers to understand what are the problems that can incur during these phases. So this is about security testing and one of the most important software testing trends of 2024. So as you can see, these are all the top five software testing trends of 2024, but not to forget about the shift left testing, which is also one of the most important trend of 2024, even though it is not in the top, but this is one of the most important and intrinsic part of the whole process or trends that we have discussed so far. Because without shift left, we can really test things earlier in the development life cycle. And this is one of the most important part of any software development for a quite long right now. And finally, as we saw how we can use natural language to perform the operation in the UI using zero step or 
Playwright AI to use natural language in much much easier fashion and that is going to be another trend which is going to be followed in this year as well. Even though it is not covered as a trend, it is going to be one of the most important part as discussed in the low code and no code tool of our trend 2 of this particular video. So that's it guys, these are the top 5 testing trends of year 2024. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and catch you in the next one.